messing up your homework, Vicky. Not if these answers are anything to go by. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong! And I quote, <clears throat> Egyptian pyramids are called pyramids because of their distinctive, that's spelled wrong, cube shape. What's wrong with that? Uh, Vicky, pyramids are pyramids, you know, like big pointy triangles. I don't care. My answers are better anyhow, you brat. I wish you could see that history would have been so much better the way I wrote it. Uh-oh. I guess I shouldn't annoy Vicky while she's got magic powers. Now go away. My homework's all done. I get to relax with chocolate and the latest issue of Evil Babysitter Monthly. Ooh, a whole section on psychological torture. Wrong. <laughs> Me, the great Vicky. <laughs> that squirt's so out of it. It's like he's living in the past. strangers. Oh, would that I could offer more passionate greeting, but whoa, mine is a soul sick with disappointment. I am called Arthur, by the way. How are you called? Usually by shouting. People are always shouting at me from yonder and the like, forsooth. I'm Timmy. Why are you so sad? Oh, a melody afflicts me. Tomorrow's dawn heralds a great event, a sword drawing competition. For many days have I anticipated this reverie, yet alas, I cannot compete, as my jealous sister has contrived to implicate me in her own naughty schemes. Verily, am I grounded. What did he say? He's sad because his sister framed him, and now he's not allowed to take part in this sword-pulling competition. This is Vicky's fault. Her homework says that the sword Excalibur was pulled from the stone by a girl. And because whoever pulled the sword from the stone became Britain's ruler, in Vicky's version we have Queen Morgana, not King Arthur. Um, thy tongue is passing strange, sir. I do not understand thee. Perhaps thine ears be filled with wax. Don't worry, Sir Arthur, sir. I'll fix this. I have a cutting plan. <laughs> You'll have to cross using those stepping stones. Okay, but we haven't invented a clone dryer yet. Look, a knife. We can't let anyone else see us, Timmy. Why not? I want to show off my superior knowledge of science and philosophy and TV shows. Why well, is right, Cosmo. We could change history just by being here. There's no point in fixing Vicky's mistakes if I'm just going to make more of my own. We should be able to sneak past people if we're skillful. Wrong. Why is that ground a different color? Hey, that's medieval monk grass. A powerful remedy against the oldy diseases such as gray snot and closing toe. Actually, I think it's probably a trap. Try not to step on it. Wait, to go! Hey, I felt like I'm ordering from a fast dog restaurant. <laughs> without a bridge. Don't fall into the boat! Only nobles 
my good and faithful friend, I know not what magic transpired this day, but you have Excalibur. A guard saw me pull it out while I was disguised to look like you. Oh, don't ask. But if you take it back, you can pull it out again and prove that you're the one true king. Oh, I bear thanks to you. If I am to become king, I will have the means to well reward you. Oh, how nice! I'd love one of those big, lousy frocks women wear here. Uh-oh. No time, Arthur. But it was nice to meet you. I see I'm a bowler plumber. Hope you get a sensible language sometime soon. And Mose! And watch out for that lamp gloss. He's trouble. Yay! I'm king! <laughs> how cool is that? Hot Sandy! Egypt! We're in ancient Egypt, guys! Oh, wow! Luckily, I speak ancient Egyptian. I, Weird Dog Headed Man Gilbert. That means oh, I've had a tough trip. Okay, Timmy, what did Vicky not know about Egypt? Well, everything's the obvious answer. But I think our main problem is the pyramids. Vicky thought they were cubes. Square pyramids? That's weird. You can stack them up a lot easier that way. So we have to convince the builders that a pyramid is the new in shape for tombs this season? That's about the size of it. Bird-headed man by a throne carrying an egg. That means let's get on with it.
iguana, except Egyptians who call it three wavy lines. And look, the pyramid. I mean, the square of it. We still have to get these Egyptians into the pyramid vibe. Let's get scuffing. Or at least bash it with a hammer. <laughs> Hammering has worn me out. You should try being the hammer. I'm fine. Gonna cause more hammer a lot more, I bet ya. But I think we did it. The Egyptians seem very interested. With a little fairy magic, we should be able to see what will happen. Yes! Look! They took the bait! They're gonna alter the square of it to pyramid! We did it! Ah, uh, no time to sign our names. Two circles coming together spells Cosmo and Egyptian. Swept through time like a leaf in the wind. How irritating. Oh, don't worry, hon. Just think of Vicky's grade point average after this. Okay, guys. When are we now? Hmm. Nice architecture. This seems like a really cool time. Uh, is it Canada? Ancient Canada? I'm guessing Canada. I'm usually right. Sorry, Cosmo. According to Vicky's homework, we're in Greece. Ancient Greece, hence the smell of cleverness. Yep, it's well known that ancient Greeks were especially brainy. Ooh, then I'll fit right in. Let's see, what has Vicky messed up here? Well, she has the Greeks eating fine food and drinking fine wine, which seems okay, but oh no. She says here that the ancient Greeks hated sports. But the Greeks practically invented sports. Their games are world famous for sporting excellence. Are you sure the Egyptians didn't invent sports? They invented a lot of things. I know, I was just there. We have to turn these Greek gourmets onto sports, guys, or I'll never get to see another Super Bowl or World Series again. And that I cannot allow. I'm gonna have to avoid people again? Well, you're safe and sorry. Don't look at us, Mr. Guard. We're not here. The Greeks named the stars after their heroes. I'm gonna name this one after my nickel Philip. Hon, let's wish. Uh, I kind of meant, what am I going to wish for? It's me. That's your job, Timmy. So as far as you care, I can wish for something stupid, like a hammer or a cheesy. One hammer and one chisel. Now let's find some statues. Good wish, Hon. We're proud of you.
challenge. Oh, I love obstacle courses. Yay, obstacle courses! Look, guys, there's a button. I bet that starts the challenge. <laughs> like a challenge. You'll have to avoid steam spouts and not fall in the water, Timmy. Chin card ended up way back in time. Ah, oh, the Crimson Chin goes way back. <laughs> Another bathing area. Don't fall in the water. Wow, the Greeks have really taken the sport. Wow, they should do this every four years. Does that fix all of Vicky's tampering with time, Timmy? I think so, which means... Time to go! Goodbye, ancient Canada! I love you! It's great.
Greed. Greed. Yeah, greed. This is the word. It's got groove and it's got meaning. Greed is the time. It's the place. It's the motion. Okay. I'm leaving now. Whoa. 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 just got back and you're already at DEF CON 4. If you mess up my history homework, Timmy Turner, I'll kick your butt! And any other part of you my leg will reach. Hold on, haven't we been here before? Yeah, you always show up to annoy me just when it's time to relax. You finished your homework then? Yes, I have, and it's all correct. I am a genius, so all my answers must be correct. I'm not so sure. No, Timmy, don't make her wish the same wish again! Looks like we got back before we left. Be careful. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong. Oh, no. You're right. A genius can't be wrong. I agree with you completely. I've been all through time and space, and Vicky is still the dumbest person I've met. <laughs>